Rumors of this series' demise have been greatly exaggerated. We're back with some more Legacy of the Void Terran Edition. I am Jay Barino. I have recovered from my illness for the most part. I just have that lingering cough that you get for, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks after uh, a bout of bronchitis. And also, it's very cold outside, so apologies in advance. There's going to be some coughing here or there, but I am feeling much better. Let's get into it. Keep at it, boys. The ride's on its way. Struggle no more. Be released from your pain. She's just a lady. Okay. Let's find some infested areas to clear. I've always found this mission to be pretty difficult. Even just the normal Protoss version. So I'm going to take my time here. We're going to do this right. Maybe. Hopefully. You know. Come on down and grab this stuff. And I plan on probably just having a lot of folks to repair. Like constantly. That's going to be a big part of this strategy. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. A lot of resources to get started here, so let's just make a lot of depots. I don't think gas is going to be like a <coughs> major issue throughout this one. War pigs for our uh, our reward here. That's nice. Again, yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill. Well, you know, we're gonna fortify here. We're gonna fortify down here, and just uh, go from there. <coughs> and then slowly but surely, we're just gonna. We're going to make it happen. It's going to be... Again, I'm probably just going to take my time with this one. Load him up, load him up, load him up. Even maybe get a third bunker here. we got to leave enough space so that we can actually get out. <clears throat> and when, he's, when I'm told that we're going to be under attack, I'll just go ahead and move some SCVs over to repair frantically. It's going to be great. And we'll make more barracks and we'll find more barracks as time goes on. Let's just make sure we have enough gas income and get this fully saturated. Add on complete. I guess we'll do it like this. How many SCVs should we have ready to repair when we're getting attacked? That's a great question. I don't know. But I think that's what we have to lean on is just mass repair in order to efficiently have resources coming in and uh, not lose too much at once. I think that's going to be a big key to this map. Making sure, you know, we don't lose a lot to fungal growth. Just don't lose big bulks of units. We got Zerg coming in from the east. From the east. Okay, so see, I'm going to pull a lot of SCVs to repair here. Get another medic. And if, as long as those Hydras can't hit my SCVs that are repairing. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, most of you go ahead and get back to mining, and then I will make sure to pull some more of those off later. Not enough minerals. And then I have to start making turrets. And that's for later, because when we destroy the... Whatever they're called. The constrictions. Then warp prism spawn and all that junk. Not enough minerals. So the question is, what order do we want to do this in? We have to set up a bunch of defense down here as well, and that's for later. Bunkers down here as well. It's like I want to build on the edge, but not exactly on the edge, because I want to build several bunkers, and I want units to move up the ramps to make sure that they're hitting everything. Okay. Don't worry about depots. Depots are going to be fine as time goes on. We just don't need all this gas right now, so we'll worry about saturating that later. And then we need enough Marines. To kill the constriction and then get over there and kill any warp prisms that might be popping out. I I know, I know. Did I get plus one? I did. Okay, that's cool. And I would love to get armor as well. Again, I'm not like in a super rush. I want to wait for the next uh, enemy attack, which I think is 
Well, it's normally Protoss, and it's on that side of the, the map. So we're just going to chill, and then again, we'll make sure to pull some SCVs off to repair. Bad news. And then make sure that we have enough uh, missile turrets here. And then we want to have a ton of bunkers here, and then leave enough room to get out. So like this, and then one more bunker there. Three bunkers should be enough, as long as we have enough units to repair. And the plan is to have enough units to repair. Hopefully that's enough turrets. I feel like it should be. And we'll leave these SCVs down here for now. And then as we move out with this group of Marines, what I will do is, as I'm building more Marines, send them over to the left to, to fill up my bunkers. Okay, don't throw away my Marines. We have bunkers for this. Perfect. Maybe a few too many SCVs here, but that's fine. And let's just throw a few more down here as well. Okay, this is probably enough. What I'm going to do is start loading up these bunkers for later. And then we also have that really large baneling attack that comes in later, which I don't like. Okay, we're going to get Marines for that area. I think I can make... Um, I can use Stim now. Yeah, that's big. No combat shields, though? Yeah, no combat shields. Interesting that I have Stim, but no combat shields. It's unfortunate. Okay, let's clear all this creep. And then we do this. I'm going to make another tech lab, actually, for later, and then everything else will be reactors. I'm going to move these marines down to this direction. Struggle no more. Be released from your pain. Big job. Go, go, go. Alert. Enemy air units on approach vector. We gotta take them out, or they'll keep dropping troops right on top of us. Okay, we were over prepared for that. That's all good. And let's start making SCVs for this side, and then make Marines and Medics. Make sure we have a lot of Medics. I'd like to clear the middle section out first. Additional I'm just going to get a few more... Yeah, I'm going to get a few more units, get a few more depots. Uh, and I'm got, going slow but steady here. I think this is the right answer. And then we can resaturate the refineries. Zerga hitting us from the west. Of course. Are they? Yes, they are. Those three banelings there are rough, and actually we barely lost anything there, so that's perfect. So I just need to get a large enough army here, and I'll feel very comfortable to be able to move... ...to move out. I did lose some SCVs there that were repairing, but I'll, I'll, I can rebuild those. Mm, I could probably get a, another barracks, actually. I know I can't really afford to produce off of anything else. Two SCVs on each seems appropriate. Let's go ahead and clear this middle area because there's some resources down here. Okay, no plus one armor yet. Okay, let's head down in this direction. I'm going to keep making SCVs, keep loading this stuff up. I feel pretty comfortable about this, but I'm going to send even more SCVs down there. And then move down to the left next, I think. We can get another barracks. I must have lost a medic that I was rallied to. I don't know. It's fine. Do I want even another bunker here? Because I feel like that's going to be necessary, and we're going to need... More dudes to repair over here as well, because the Zerg attacks are quite large. You're going to get two missile turrets there just in case. And then get some up here as, as well for later. Okay, I don't have a large enough force yet for me to feel particularly comfortable. I probably should just get another barracks. Again, I can't really afford to produce off of it, though.
And I'm just going to keep making tons and tons of SCVs to repair through as much of the damage as I can. Do I want to... I, I don't think I want to wall this off completely. I think that would be a mistake. But getting another barracks here could be okay. Or another bunker, rather. Like here. It's a little wacky, but it'll work. Not enough minerals. Let's just make sure we've got the production cues for these up completely. Okay, is this enough stuff? To make a move. I don't know. Let's go ahead and stim. This better be good. That's a large attack force. I'm going to back up. Let them come up the ramp, please. Okay, this is working how I wanted it to. Okay, mass repair this one, please. Okay, well, I was right to... To do that. Not enough minerals. Actually, just load this up. There we go. Now you can come down here. No more. Be released from your pain. Sure. Okay, next barracks, very important. Let's bring this back to base and get a reactor, please. Go, go, go. Big job, huh? Yep. And where do we need more repairing SCVs? It seems like over here is where we're going to need the majority of our repairers. Go ahead. And then we can make our way down across this bridge and get the next constriction, at which point we'll have to make our way back up through here and kill the Nidus's that spawn. But we have enough defense to hold off the waves as they're coming in for our army to then move around and kill the, the worms that spawn. That's my plan, at least. Um, maybe what I'll do is get a bunker like right here in order to kill the worm that spawns or like here again this mission is always kind of spooky which is why I'm being extra extra safe I feel like this should be enough stuff wow only one huh We'll just stop, move our way in. Okay, we were able to kill a lot of those as they came out of the drop pods. I'll take it. Get some more medics as well. Seems like they're, they're just like sending out stray units. Casual Vikings? Well, hopefully not Warcraft 3 reforged. Am I right, gang? Base is under attack. Okay, let's uh, let's make sure we're safe against this Zerg attack now, and it looks like we are. By the numbers, boys. Armed and ready. Okay, and actually what I'm going to do instead, before we kill the Constriction, is I'm going to clear the path. that we can easily get to the Nidus's that spawn. I don't have units getting caught by anything on their way down here, right? It doesn't look like it. That base is just going to keep sending reinforcements till we kill the Constriction, so let's do it. I'm going to send most of these guys up to the middle. There we go. Kill those pretty fast. Kill that one pretty fast. We'll go ahead and send my units over here to take these out, and then we can make our way towards the Zerg, the Zerg constrictions. Then we kind of have to do the same thing with the Zerg constrictions. Uh, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with my ability to defend and repair stuff. Depends on what attacks us from this direction. Um, this is the 
this is the time when things could go wrong, is, is this with the infestors and stuff. Ooh, major, like, frame dips here. So what we want to do is send, like, a small group up here to lure the infestor. Ooh, that's a large attack first. We gotta kill this. I would have preferred if my bunkers would have hit this stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. Don't do it! Decent dodge. Not bad there. And we can go and grab the next, uh, the other barracks as well. Let's kill this thing before, uh, uh it does that again. Base is under attack. Let's make sure this is okay. It looks like it's gonna be okay. All my bunkers are shooting as well, which is a big deal. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. So let's grab this. It's another barracks and war pigs. And as long as we're careful with the, uh... As long as we're careful with the infestors, we should be okay. Next set of stuff that can be spooky is there are war prisms that come in from up here. So, like, I'll set this stuff up. It probably will get killed by a Zerg attack, though. That's going to go around us. We'll see. Hate this. Popped out right behind us after we had stimmed. So what I could do, Not enough minerals. one option here would be to wait for the next Zerg attack so that it doesn't go around me. I also have defense ready to go. It's just it's going to pick off my my units on their way to um, rally up, and it'll kill the missile turrets that I had just set up. I could probably beeline for it. There's definitely an infester up here, though, so we want to spread out a little bit, plus the ultras and stuff. Okay, let's just get this stuff. This let's just get this stuff up here, and then we should be okay. You guys stay down here. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna stim, and then I'm gonna go up with a small group just to lure stuff down to us. I think we dodged a fungal there. There's gonna be probably another fungal. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we go. Gotta focus on this ultra, it's it's absolutely killer. Okay, I think we got it. Don't let that infester live, because that's just awful. Not enough minerals. Okay, we're going to kill this constriction, then we're going to fall back and kill all the stuff that spawns again. We're also going to send these guys down here. Enough. The end to the cycle of infinite madness has come. Cease your struggle against the salvation I bring. Okay, we killed that one really fast, so we gotta load this up and load all this stuff up. I've set up another missile turret up here that should take care of that. We lost my whole army, unfortunately. Which is sort of expected. We ran into an enemy, an enemy attack. And then we have these down here that I can't quite get to. I'm gonna try and run over there. This area is okay. What I really need are more medics now. Okay, we gotta get rid of these. Okay, not bad. I don't I'm not confident I can get to the other side before it's too late. The doctor is in. This bunker we don't need anymore. Because there's nothing that's gonna be spawning behind us anymore. Okay, not bad. This side is still well defended. I'm rebuilding my army slowly but surely. Not enough minerals. And I need a large enough army to get down there to the bottom, uh, to the bottom left. Um, the Zerg attacks are a lot scarier, I think, than, uh, the Zerg attacks are a lot scarier than, uh, the, the Terran slash, you know, replacement Protoss attacks, so I'm gonna go for this side first. Or I, I'm rather, I'm gonna kill this, and then I'm gonna turn around and go to the left. 
So the way a lot of people set it up is they'll destroy one full area first, which I think is a pretty good idea. Um, but don't destroy the constriction, but kill all the defense. And then you basically destroy the last two constrictions, like, right next to each other. I think that's a pretty good idea. Not enough minerals. There's still minerals here, so, like, I'm not in dire straits. But we need defense in every location. The question is, do I have enough stuff that could realistically finish the map? Oh, you know what? I probably don't need these medics. The doctor is in. Okay. Having one extra one is fine. Just because the hybrid here, and we have to make sure we focus fire down the banelings. If we focus fire down the banelings, I feel pretty good. But we have to do that first. Um, I'm probably going to go down the middle, because if we go to the left or to the right, we're very likely to run into enemy attacks, and I don't want to mess with that. Not enough minerals. Okay, got to make sure we leave ourselves enough minerals as well to repair. By the numbers, boys. You gonna give me orders? I'm slightly concerned that the Zerg might attack from that direction. We'll see. Okay, we clearly need mass repair on this bunker. And we're able to out-repair the damage. That's the key. And we're not able to out-repair the damage. But now we're okay. And then over here, they broke through. But hopefully we'll win before the next round of attacks. Do we have enough? <laughs> we gotta try. As long as we're careful. I'll rewind if I have to. But this this mission being one, um, this mission being um, one video, I think makes sense. It's a spooky one. It's just hard, and it comes down to the wire, you know. Okay, so we're basically pushing for the win right now. That's way less scary than uh, an immortal and a carrier. I think that's normally there. So this thing doesn't do splash damage, I don't think, so it's not that spooky. That's so many, so many banelings. I tried to target fire. It wasn't enough. Just keep rallying up, and if the enemy attacks us while we're trying to finish it, then so be it. I think we have enough. There it is. Okay, cool. Cavalry's arrived. Anyone still alive down there? Good to see you, Matt. Welcome to the park. Glad we made it in time, sir. Now let's get you boys out of there. So I played that incredibly safe. Incredibly safe. But I think that's what you have to do. Um, if you try and Hail Mary, you might end up losing too much to the Ultralisks and the Fungal Growths specifically. Um, but <laughs> as, you, as you saw, even playing it safe, it was, uh, it was pretty rough. Uh, and it kind of came down to the wire. We still had some minerals to work with, but overall, I think that, that went decently well. Forbidden Weapon is usually not a mission you can go to this early, but it's been done out of order by Synergy for, I'm sure, balance reasons for, like, the order that units are unlocked in. Um, these early missions that are rough in terms of time, I remember Forbidden Weapon and Sky Shield in particular were quite challenging. Um, we'll see how they how they go. We're going to play them both next time, I think, because they're both relatively short. All right, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.